it's still a really, really solid group. So, um, you know, I think that's really just a testament to our group um, and how hard we work. I mean, I really, <laughs> I'll say bias that um, I do. I think the linebackers work extremely hard, you know. Um, we do a lot extra together. We do a lot, I mean, just as it is, grip work, all sorts of extra stuff every single day through the summer. And it's just one of those things where, um, I mean, now, now it's time. So, yeah. Thank you, Sean. Ryan Aver, the Oklahoma. Yeah, Deshaun, I want to ask you about something a little bit different. Uh, I want to ask you about the practice schedules. Uh, Y'all changed things up last year, practicing during the day. It looks like same things uh, going to continue uh, this year. What do you do? You, do you like that versus practicing in the evening? Uh, you know, wh how how different does that make uh, make your day look uh, with with the the, the way y'all did things a couple of years ago versus how you're doing things now? And just what do you think overall? Uh, honestly, I'm not I'm not really a picky person, but um, I do enjoy the morning schedule a lot just because I get to wake up and practice in the morning. Like that's one thing that I I like to do. I like to wake up and practice in the morning when I'm feeling sort of fresh. Um, that sort of thing, but that would that would probably be my only bias on it. To be honest with you. Appreciate it, Deshaun. No. Chandler Engelbrecht, Lee Daly. Hey, Deshaun. I wanted to ask you about Perrion Winfrey. Um, yesterday, Lincoln Riley said that Perrion's really become one of the leaders on the team. And just from your perspective, what can you say about you know his development uh, since he first got to OU to now? What's he been like off the field and also on the field? Yeah, um, Perrion definitely, um, a little bit like Nick, when he got here, he wasn't all, I mean, he wasn't all there yet, but he matured really, really fast. Um, and I think it's just a testament to, honestly, how bad he wants it, you know? Um, I think he got here and kind of got punched in the mouth a little bit, punched in the face, sort of had to settle down, reset, like, okay, what is it that I want? And I think that once he circled that, it was easy for him to, okay, now I gotta step, as, step up as a leader. There's certain things that I can't be doing that he's dropped off. So, I mean, um, for him, it's just one of those things, you know, step up to the plate. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Appreciate it, man. No no. John Hoover, SI Sooners. Hey, Deshaun. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Perrion as well. Interesting that we're going back to back. Um, does it take some guys maybe a little bit longer to kind of find their voice when they get on campus, whether it's a freshman or a junior college transfer, you know, you know what I mean? Get some friends around him, get comfortable and then kind of blossom a little bit. Is that what happened with Perry on? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's, I mean, that's the way I see it at least. It, I mean, he got here, you know, he went through his struggles, which I mean, we all do at this level, went through it, struggles of his own and just the way that he adjusted to it that fast and was able to overcome it in such a way. And then, be such a vocal leader is, I mean, it is, it's, it's different and it's something that stands out most definitely. So be helpful for you if he were more destructive on the field, I'm guessing that's the way it looks like he's been practicing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, his, his game speaks for itself, man. It speaks for itself. Thanks to Sean. Oh, no. Brandon Drum, are you insider? Hey, Deshaun, thanks for doing this. Um, you came in here at, 2018. Uh, can you kind of talk about just the overall change in that linebacker room from the time you got here and just the mentality and the culture and how much it's, it, it differs? Um, I mean, it's, it's a complete 180 or three 180 flip, to be honest with you, is what it feels like. Um, I feel like when I got to the room, it was talented, but there wasn't a lot of discipline there wasn't a lot of um just you know the way that we do things now like we do a lot of extra work together and there wasn't a lot of that then um and so now every day we break it out on lbu and that's like something that like we put our hearts into and we mean that when we say that um whether regardless of who says they think it is or not like we're going to do our part to um we're going to put our best foot forward in becoming linebacker you and so I think that just having that um, really motivates us every day. I know it motivates me um, to be the best me because I'm doing it for um, sort of a bigger purpose to be one of the more respected linebacker corps in the nation. I'm talking, I mean, when years from now, I can look back and be like,
man, those uh, OU linebackers are still sort of like playing a certain way. They're flying around. So um, I can definitely say it's changed quite a bit. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. Jenny Carlson, the Oklahoma. Hey, Deshaun, um, you, you said a little bit ago that with all the depth you guys have at linebacker, it's pretty motivating for you. Um, you've become a mainstay guy at that position, but I'm curious just what your expectations for you are, um, you know, to maybe take your play to another dynamic level. Like what, what's sort of your, what's sort of your thought about what you'd like to be as a senior this year? Um, definitely want to be a much bigger player, um, a much more impact player. That's something that during this offseason, I told myself that um, I can make a consistent play behind the line of scrimmage fairly well. But, you know, there's got to be those flash plays, those those plays where, you know, it's a TFL and a backfield sacks, that sort of thing. So obviously, I mean, just want to step up as a leader and make big plays. Simple as that. How do you toe that line between doing something that maybe is that highlight moment, that eye popping moment and not getting out of being that consistent guy? I mean, there's, there's something yeah. really positive about being a consistent guy in that defensive uh, backfield. I think it's more just um, being more aggressive and reacting quicker to things. Mm -hmm. At least for me, that's what it was. Um, just trusting my eyes when I see things. And honestly, it, it's simple to say, but I mean, it's it, it really was that simple, or it really is that easy. Just trust your eyes when you see things. And I mean, my eyes lead me to make the same consistent plays. And my eyes have also always told me, or they've always seen certain big plays, big plays. And now it's just like, when I see it, go, don't think about it, so. Thanks, Deshaun. I know. Okay, time for two more, Lee Benson, KWTV. Excuse me, John, I know it's been a few days now, but I just wanted to ask you about the scrimmage you all had a few nights ago under the lights. What stood out to you in your position group and maybe overall on the defense and you guys kind of getting out there for the, uh, you know, one of the first times at, at, at the field? No doubt. Um, linebackers had a great day. I remember it, actually. Linebackers had a really good day. Um, we were flying around, TFLs all over the field. Um, guys like Jamal Morris had a really good day. Um, I'm gonna throw some names out there. Jamal Morris, Danny had a great day. Shane had a great, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and name all the names, but it feels like we all had a good day. Um, it was just one of those days for us, and it was a really positive day, and we've built on it sort of thing. But um, as far as the defense, it was a really good day as a defense as well. Um, really just like mostly just how we're running to the ball. I know that that seems like such a simple thing, but it's really fun to watch guys run like relentlessly after somebody. And you sort of feel bad for a ball carrier, but it is what it is. Okay, James Hale. You know, Deshaun, you're a, you're an interesting guy to talk to because when you came in, you know, you, you were a pretty well-developed guy. But, you know, through your three years, you've really added some strength. And you can tell just by watching, looking at you and things, you have a different outlook. Can you give us an idea what it's like to be a football player growing up in a program with the strength and conditioning team that you have and how it's benefited you? Uh, well, <laughs> in high school, I was always playing all sorts of different sports, so I never really got a chance to be in offseason. But um, honestly, even my earlier offseasons here, I felt like I just wasn't mature enough to really put my head in it and really just sit down and focus. But I think these last two offseasons, I've really, I really wanted to focus on my body, and I've known for a long time that um, upper body strength is something that I really like I've, I've always circled every off season like it has to change it has to go up and so um, really just committing myself with Wiley um, he makes it really easy for us you know he's he's so um, it's easy to talk to him you know about anything that you're that you feel is a weakness in your game or anything like that and I mean honestly they already know it and so attacking problems that you're um or attacking weaknesses and strengths are really easy with a strength staff like ours, to be honest with you. Okay, 